All right, so now that we got everything done outside and we are ready for winter, what are we doing? Tackling some of the little odds and ends of things that we have yet to do. First thing is this door. This door sits a little bit too high for the uh, guide that came with the door. The reason why is because the shipping container floor sits a little bit higher than this living room floor. So it doesn't quite reach the bottom of the door. So what I'm thinking about doing is just taking a piece of angle iron, cutting it to the dimensions that I need to function as that guide. And then I'll have to cut a groove in the bottom of the door. Yeah, because right now, this is what it will do. And having a toddler, you can imagine. We can't ever have the store shut during the day. Another thing that we have to do is you can see the hardware actually hits the trim right now. The reason why is because our door is a skinnier door and with this hardware that we're using, we actually have to notch an area for the bolts to go down a little bit more so it can be more flush because yeah, right now, it's been banging up the trim. Spencer actually redid it yesterday because there's a huge gash in it now. So, that too. <laughs> and with that door being skinnier, don't let that fool you. That door is extremely heavy. Mm -hmm. It's like made out of MDF and it is, it's a beast. That's heavy. You're a beast. Oh my God. <laughs> Good thing you have me to hold the door for you. I'm the one that lifts it every single time anything needs to be done or it needs to be taken off. Yeah, let's see you take it off right now. I will. We're going to try. Oh, man. You know, I could, but I just, I'm a little scared that I would mess it up, but I could do it. Yeah. I'm just not going to. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's really heavy. I was really trying as hard as I could. No. Is this like made out of stone? It's like a rock. It feels like I'm trying to lift a boulder. Look at you. You just make it look so easy. Spencer, what's your favorite food? Is it eggs? Because you're yoked. <laughs> Here comes the rain. I really wish that we had a storm shelter right now. All right, the wind's starting to pick up. I have never seen lightning like this before. And Spencer's not home right now, so. Hopefully he gets home soon, being that we're on a train to watch. Huh? Hey, are you almost home? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm uh, not almost home. All right, well, hurry up. The weather's getting really bad. Yeah, and, uh, I see it. I'm like, what the hell? It went away, and then now it's back. I know, it came out of nowhere. I should be home in about 10 minutes. All right, well, hurry home, be safe. It's getting really windy, too. That's a contradiction. What? Hurry home, be safe. <laughs> like, you're not going to be able to shower. Yeah, I know. It shows it. Well, it's only for this hour, so I guess I can shower a little bit later. Yeah, you're going to have to. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll be home shortly. All right, I love you. Bye. Bye.
And just like that, it's done. <laughs> Still a little lightning off in the distance, but it's over. Now that our living room door is all done and fixed, we're ready to start on our next big project. This is one that we have been looking forward to for a very long time. Couldn't tell, we're in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so the shower, I'm gonna work on uh, finishing up waterproofing this uh, shower. And um, cause I still, I have the cement board installed down low in that shower pan or in the mortar bed, but I haven't, I've never taped it. So I still got to tape it and then uh, throw the thin set over it. But then from that point forward, I can, once all that dries, I can start on the Schluter system. So, oh wait, no, no, I forgot. <laughs> One other step after, uh, after all that dries, the thin set dries is the, uh, we have Aqua Defense. So I'm gonna, it's a rubber membrane that you, pretty much paint on over the mortar bed and around the cement board and that'll just make it so all of that is waterproof and good to go so all our water goes down the drain and not anywhere else um, and then from that point forward then we do Schluter system and then tile a lot of steps but it'll be worth it wait a second you're saying we don't just put the tile Right on the drywall? Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of people be very concerned about what we're doing. <laughs> Thinking that we're just using this, but. Yeah, the tile <laughs> and thin sets are waterproofing membrane. <laughs> it's so stupid. You'd have to like, do it like shingles. <laughs> Your tile like shingles in order to kind of be like that. Right. Waterproof it. Yeah, obviously we are not doing that. Yeah. No. We are doing a tried and improved system. Well, we're kind of combining two systems to make one super system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think we should keep it. You shower on there, I'll shower in here. Yeah. <laughs> that time again kids are asleep and I can't really do too much inside the house because I risk waking them up my one area that I can still kind of work on things and make a little bit of noise is in here in the living room slash guest bedroom slash office however you want to see it I, I'm gonna work on something that uh, I'm very excited to work on squeeze this in here a new function for this room, uh, Spencer's Bike Shop, or Workshop, however you want to see it. I see it as a win-win. I wonder how Ken's going to take it. <laughs> for the first upgrade, it's going to be the controller. Controller and the battery. Uh, the reason why I have to do this is because not only do I want more amperage, which will give me more power, but also I'm running a higher voltage battery which will allow the motor to spin up faster, or not spin up faster, uh, allow to achieve a higher RPM, which will give me a higher top speed. And this 
will allow all that to happen. All right, this morning it's back on the bathroom. Last night I didn't get to finish the uh, controller install, unfortunately, but I only have a few hours in the evening to work on it. So it may take me another day or two to finish that up. So uh, Spencer's bike shop is currently closed right now. Uh, so yeah, it's back on the bathroom. Today I'm just gonna be mortaring all the joints with that uh, mesh tape and then letting that dry for the day. And then tomorrow I'll go ahead with the, uh, the aqua defense, so the rubber membrane. I don't really know how much I need, so I'm just gonna start with a small batch. Kinda go from there. Need the extension cord. Pause. Tiny bit too much water. what I've read, or what I've watched, let me be honest, from what I've watched on YouTube, uh, you want the consistency to be a little bit runnier than what you would apply to uh, for a tile. You want that a little bit more thick. You want this to be a little bit more thin. And the reason being is just because you want the uh, mortar to make its way in between the groove, or in between the mesh of the uh, mesh tape. So, uh, I think I have the right consistency, but let me be clear, this is not a DIY channel, or it is a DIY channel, but it's not a teach you how to DIY. <laughs> I'm just kind of learning as I go along, and uh, you guys are along for the ride. So, let's uh, give this a good try. So this shower is all done, at least for right now. What I'm gonna do is just let this cure and finish setting. So I'll come back to it uh, tomorrow and start the waterproofing. But until then, I'm gonna start working on interior door handles. The reason why is I'm going that direction instead of like working on the Schluter system in the guest bathroom is because I kinda of wanna do all of that at the same time, keep my memory as sharp as possible uh, whenever I'm doing it so I don't have to like do one and then a week or two later do the other so that's the direction I'm going to go right now I'm probably only going to get one or two door handles installed because I mean I've never installed a notched pocket door handle before but I guess we'll see how this goes Spencer just came over to our kitchen bench to get the door locks because that's where we have been storing a bunch of stuff and uh Someone else has been storing stuff in there too. A little squirrel storm, storing her nuts away for winter. I guess. <laughs> What's in there? Just anything you can imagine. <laughs> if it fit down these little holes, she put it down there. <laughs> There's a five hour unopened and opened like it's been drank. There's tons of blocks and letters from her puzzles and just trash. Granola bar. <laughs> A granola bar, toothpaste, <laughs> like travel toothpaste. <laughs> this is quite the stash. <laughs> now, oh my gosh, no, you're not eating the cracker. <laughs> now we know where all our puzzle pieces went. <laughs> I like that one of these is in here. Sweet gum. <laughs> yeah, she brings stuff from outside. Cook. Spencer is now all done with the first handle here for our closet door. 
and it turned out so well. Like I was a little bit nervous about the handles for the pocket doors because I feel like they're just notoriously, you know, known to be bad and not lock well or anything, but this looks so good. Now this one doesn't have a lock or anything because it is the closet, but all the other ones do. So we'll have to see how that feature <laughs> works once we get there. But so far, we love it. So it's been a couple days since I initially started putting this uh, controller on. As you can see, the controller's on, the new battery's in. I had to raise the lid, do all that. It was part of the kit with the battery. But everything's there and on and f fits just barely. Like that controller fought me trying to get that to fit in there, get all the wires tucked in. It was quite the headache. And then that battery, it, that thing is snug as a bug. That lid <laughs> just barely fits on there. So we're all good to go. I get to do the fun part. Go out and test it. Oh my God, it is so much faster. <laughs> you look like you just put that thing in ludicrous speed. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Like this is on power mode two, which I'm not sure how much power that is like in terms of Watts, but it is, it's insane. And it goes all the way up to power mode five, which power mode five is 15,000 Watts or roughly around 20 horsepower on a hundred and 30 pound bike <laughs> it's that's way too much power power mode 2 it should be around probably around 8,000 watts and that is as you can see it, it's plenty of power it almost looked too fast Lovey. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna go flying like you no. look like you were attached to a rocket <laughs> <laughs> power mode power mode 5 I feel like I'm attached to a rocket <laughs> So the shower, at least the uh, mortar and all the joints are dry, at least they appear to be. Uh, it, I gave it two days just, just to make sure. So I'm ready for my rubber membrane, my liquid m rubber membrane. I'm just using Aqua Defense. Where I'm going to be using it is just literally this uh, shower bed, shower pan, and uh, anywhere where I got cement board. Anything above that, above this shower board, I'll do like maybe an inch up into the drywall, but everything else is going to be covered from Schluter, the Schluter system. So the Schluter system is going to go from the roof down to the shower bed. So it's just going to be super protected when it comes to waterproofing.
first coat is complete. Our blue shower is underway. They say you only need to do two coats. I'm going to do three just to be extra cautious. Tomorrow I'll hit those other two coats. Now that the second coat is all done in our bathroom, while we let that dry, Spencer is going to continue working on installing the door handles. So the next one up is gonna be this bathroom. 